made a video pitting the i3 and i5 Intel Core CPUs against each other to see which of these would come out on top. The reason we chose the i3 and i5 CPUs was because they are, by far, the most popular choices for the majority of users. But then again, most people don't build overpowered gaming PCs. If you're looking to build a powerful mid-range PC or even a high-end one, then this is the video for you. In this video, we'll be taking a look at how the Intel Core i5 CPUs stack up against their i7 brethren. In the last video, we couldn't name a clear winner since both the i3 and the i5 fulfilled their roles rather brilliantly. In the end, it all came down to your budget. But you've probably noticed that this video is quite short, so you can expect a more definitive and prescriptive answer this time around. So without any further ado, let's begin. The first thing we have to do is check how each CPU performs relative to the other. To this end, we recommend using user benchmark. It's not a 100% accurate means of acquiring performance data, but as far as approximations go, user benchmark is excellent, and it will give you a great overall impression of how two CPUs fare against one another. More importantly, you can use it to compare different i5 and i7 models since not all are the same when it comes to performance and price. When we compared the most powerful 9th gen i5 and i7 models, the i5-9600K and the i7-9700K, we found that the performance gap between the two was rather underwhelming. Across the board, the 9700K does get a better score, but the only aspect in which it pulls ahead by a lot is the multi-core performance, something that doesn't really play a large role in gaming. So once we add the price difference, which by the way is by no means underwhelming, into the equation we have to conclude that the i5 is the better choice for the vast majority of gamers. Yes, the i7 will offer better performance overall, but this marginal improvement will not be worth the extra investment. Now you may be saying, but hey, won't an i5 CPU end up bottlenecking my GPU? No, it most probably will not. The thing is, bottlenecking sounds much more dangerous than it actually is. By definition, it says that your GPU will not be able to work to its maximum potential unless the CPU is powerful enough to get it to do so. But mid-range CPUs are powerful enough to get the most out of high-end GPUs. For example, even a previous Gen i5 will just barely bottleneck an RTX 2080. And also, do take note of the phrase, just barely. Bottlenecking is not a hit or miss situation where the PC will refuse to work entirely if it detects even a tiny percent of it. This is something to keep in mind because sometimes a hardware configuration that suffers from slight bottlenecking will end up better than one that is completely free of it and costs roughly the same. Just look at the following example and you'll see what we mean. Like we've said, an RTX 2080 paired up with an i5 CPU will end up bottlenecking a little bit, but we'd always choose this hardware configuration over an RTX 2070 paired with an i7 CPU. GPUs are the real heavy lifters when it comes to gaming after all, and no amount of multi-core performance can offset this. In conclusion, an i5 Intel Core CPU is definitely the better choice for the vast majority of gamers. The only reason why you'd need an i7 CPU is if you're building a super high-end gaming PC. We're talking RTX 2080 Ti kind of high-end, or SLI, or even a VR gaming machine. If this isn't the case, then the i5 is the most cost-effective solution. And that about does it for this video. We hope you've enjoyed it. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you did, or maybe even share this video if you think this is something your friends ought to see. It's very easy to overestimate the role of CPUs in gaming, so if you know someone who's having this dilemma, this video could quite literally save them $100. Also, if you want to see more videos like this one, make sure to click on the bell icon so that YouTube doesn't accidentally sneak one of our new videos past you. We upload new videos regularly, so keep your eyes peeled for the next one. In the meantime, may your games be fun and your losses few. And as always, we'll see you next time on Gaming Scan.